guys it's day number two of the movers coming in from the military to unpack our stuff we have some stuff in our house and we're working on unpacking but i'll show you just a little bit around the house to show you like what we're working on not everything that we are unpacking is going to be filmed on camera so there might be a little bit of a gap between the last video and this video but I am just trying my best to keep up with everything, get this content out to you guys. We do not have internet yet. They keep messing this up with our internet. So it's been a week without internet and that's why I have not been able to upload to YouTube, but I am trying my best. I'm trying to edit and just get these videos ready. And I just appreciate you guys following along and just really staying here and sticking with me during this journey. But I'm gonna show you around the house a little bit and show you what's still a mess before they come in and give us more mess. <laughs> All right, not too much over there right now, but there will be more boxes coming in. Right now we have one third of a couch and then all of these boxes are what we have unpacked so far. So they should take them with them. And we actually do have a lot of damage to our furniture from the move. They're Sorry, the movers just got here. So that was them ringing the doorbell. But let me turn on some lights. Um, not too much in my office. We already, you saw me set up the office because we brought a lot with me. I know the lights are off right now, so, but just, you know, normal things, my cricket stuff, decor, and then my daughter's chair really needed to clean, it was so gross. And then just bins that I didn't know what to do with. And then we're gonna go back, go upstairs really quick. I know it's dark up here, so I turn on the light. Main areas that are gonna need some work. We're gonna have more boxes come up here into the bonus room slash like second living room and then our room just we haven't even started the bathroom's a mess literally just everything in the closet has clothes everywhere because we don't have a washer and dryer yet they haven't unpacked it yet just the sink when you clean up i have a whole box that i plan to get through today that's down in the garage you don't even want to see the garage i'll tell you that much it's worse than anything else because it may not look like a lot in the house but we have a full garage right now just packed full and then in here we got pretty much through a lot of it but this is my daughter's bed and that will get moved to the other room and then i'll make their bed but just trying to get through this as best we can and then there's some other rooms but we're just going to tackle this now <laughs> guys welcome back I know it's been a little while since I last posted but you know that my gram unfortunately did pass so I did have her funeral last week and so we did not have a video that weekend um, but we are doing much better over here it has been a wild ride <laughs> to say the least but I'm just so happy for all of the continued support on my channel and those of you that just said all those kind words on my last video and I just appreciate you guys so much there's truly no words for it 
I hope that if you are new here that you will hit that subscribe button as well as that alert bell. My channel is all about cleaning, decorating, DIY projects, and overall homemaking. We are a military family as well as I work full time in the home. And then I have three small children, ages 11, 5, and 3. So it can get chaotic over here, especially with my little three-year-old. You'll see him when I'm filming a lot because he is home with me during the day while the other two are in school. But... You can see that my oldest is actually helping me tackle this kitchen, which we always help out in this house. I definitely, all of my kids have chores. It's just sometimes I will not film those chores. Like if she unloads the dishwasher, I just will skip that in a video. It's just one of those things, you know, we're all just doing our best out here to survive with this crazy world today. But yeah, we are finally tackling this kitchen. I know that my last few videos have been focused in the kitchen, but that's where we have most of these boxes already delivered at this time. And plus I have a lot of kitchen stuff and if my kitchen isn't clean, it gives me a lot of anxiety. So I was definitely wanting to focus and get this stuff done. I think the kitchen was unpacked within like three or four days of all the boxes being dropped just because that's the main area that I focused. And you can just see I keep moving things and going back and forth and nothing will stay where it is put like well I wouldn't say nothing but I'm putting things where I believe would work best and then as we live here and kind of get used to it we'll see where things need to go and just kind of move things that way I definitely feel like I still needed to declutter in the kitchen because I felt like I had way too much stuff but yeah I mean I know I'm rambling a little bit um but I just wanted to let you guys know what's kind of going on and I hope that you guys will leave me down a comment down below just letting me know what's going on with you any positive or negative things that have been going on in your life I really just love hearing from you guys oh, it breaks your heart. still visiting family I was actually in and my twin sister made a comment about how she feels like our kitchen is smaller in this house compared to the last house like we lost a whole bunch of cabinet space and everything and I get that might look like it on the camera however when we moved into this house I did notice a few things that the kitchen island is actually way longer so I could actually I'm gonna get better stools right now this is what we just have I haven't found ones that I have fallen in love with to put at the counter right now same with the kitchen island or not kitchen island the kitchen table I do want to replace the kitchen table to like a light natural 
modern look if that makes sense I want like an actual wood color but light if that makes sense and I would love it to be like herringbone or something I don't know I'm, I just I'm playing with ideas but they're just so expensive right now so that's definitely on hold but I was telling my sister that the kitchen island is actually way longer than what was in our last house and if you think about it where the fridge is at it's just in the middle if that makes sense and we got a huge pantry so we have just a lot more space I feel like but we definitely have enough cabinets for all of our stuff I, I don't know. It's just so much longer, I feel like. And we have a lot more drawers. I don't know. Like, I don't know how to explain it. But it's definitely, like, the same size or just similar in comparison, I feel like. But I digress. Did it all The military is actually done. However, we have a lot of damages. <laughs> they broke my washer and dryer. You can see the legs are at an angle, so the mounts inside are actually broken. So I need to go buy a new washer and dryer apparently, and hopefully we can claim it and get our money back later on. But you can see they scuffed up, scratched, dented, everything else. My washer is dented, <laughs> the dryer is ruined. Just so much stuff we're gonna have to claim eventually uh, we're still looking for the legs for my couch downstairs or not the legs the mount piece for in between the legs if that makes sense that connects the sectional we're still looking for it so we're gonna me and my husband are gonna be in here maybe the kids are gonna be up here we don't know yet probably gonna order one we'll be up here and we're gonna be tackling this room to try to find these legs but yeah the move has not been easy i will say it has been pretty rough. We can't get internet until possibly May 17th. So it's just a lot. But hopefully we can get through some of these boxes. I'm here by your side.
big shout out to my husband for helping out always but he actually edited today's video for you guys because I was just so behind and he wanted me to prioritize more like my mental health and getting to the gym and just getting back on track with food because since the funeral we've just been eating what we could find or what people bring us so it has not been the healthiest options I'm trying to get back on tracking and those of you who track macros know that it can be so hard sometimes or even just any tracking to kind of stay on top of your food especially if you're on a weight loss journey I'm not really on a weight loss journey I would say that my goal is to more like slim down while toning up and maintain weight if that makes sense but it has been really rough but he has definitely not dropped the ball he's been helping with the kids and he definitely helped with today's video I'm so happy that he did this for me because I definitely don't think I would have been able to get the video out today if he did not sit down and edit this all yesterday for me. Now I'm just kind of going back through and doing final touches and speeding up, slowing down, and just talking to you guys, which honestly, the voiceovers are my favorite part because I just love connecting with you guys and hearing from you guys, just all the things. You guys are truly amazing. I cannot, again, say how much you guys mean to me. But we are getting through this house. We're tackling the loft area or playroom. We actually have turned this more into the family room in our house. I believe that we're going to end up putting the new couch that we got. Yes, we got a new couch, but we ordered it back in the beginning of March and it won't be here for another two months. It was three months out because we customized it, made the color that we wanted just all the things and so it's very exciting but I think we're gonna end up possibly getting rid of this couch and then just keeping that small little all form couch I was gonna put it in my office but I think we're gonna keep it in the living room and get accent couches down there I don't know we'll see as time goes and once we get the new couch and how it fits because we originally planned and customized it to the living room space downstairs not the upstairs space but we've been watching TV up here turning on some DVDs that we have since we have no internet and just doing all the things as a family and I am just so grateful for being able to have this opportunity so yeah it's been a lot of fun lately
more stuff came for my son's bedroom so I wanted to get through this room and make it as organized as possible we talked about this a little bit in my last video we were focusing on the boys room first because I felt like they needed to be comfortable because this was harder on them for a change than it is as you get older so I wanted to make their room feel comfortable so they weren't scared at night because right now they're going through that phase of scared of the dark monsters you know all the things so we actually had to get in here and really do everything to make it feel like their room again so that they were happy and comfortable comfy and content and to sleep because the sleep schedules were very off and it was very hard um, but his dresser did not make it the movers damaged it to heck and back it's flimsy the backs all ripped off there's scratches dents like this thing's straight trash we have to just throw it in the dumpster unfortunately so I do want to get some closet systems to fix up their room and then that way their clothes can be in there together and you are not The life of a mom always picking up after your kids it does not matter if you're trying to clean or not if your three-year-old is awake it's like shovel it's like cleaning during I don't even know like you know that saying with like shoveling snow during a snowstorm that's how I feel like it is cleaning with my kid awake sometimes because <laughs> sometimes he's in the mood to not just sit still he wants to throw everything and you can see it right now while he's throwing the couch cushions off while we're picking them up that's just my life as a mom <laughs> Oh, As you can tell it is way later in the day my parents are actually on their way to come help unpack things and hang out with the kids because we just moved to Kentucky so we are a little closer to Pennsylvania so they were driving down to see us and they were gonna get here later this night so I wanted to make sure that they could walk through the kitchen get to the Keurig and then with all the mud that we are not used to having in South Carolina that we now have in Kentucky we needed to mop really badly so I needed to get all the boxes out of the kitchen dining room and the entryway because that is mainly where we have any kind of vinyl flooring right now I do want to change it out into like a natural light wood flooring 
Um, I would love that. I don't want engineered hardwood. I think we're going to go with luxury vinyl plank because it's just easier to maintain. It's waterproof and scratch proof for like kids and everything else. But right now the flooring is fine. So we are going to clean up all the mud and kind of try to get rid of the craziness that is just happening in this house.
too worried about organization right now I am worried more about getting it all put away I have to find my dividers for in my cabinet drawers so that I can divide the cabinets up since they are so big and long that was like another thing that we did not have in the last house they were smaller drawers we only had one big drawer and that's why I had the dividers in the first place but I definitely had to move things around and see where they go and see where things fit in this video and it definitely worked out as you can tell I was working on those cups earlier and I used the old organization from the last house house I just have to figure out where things fit and how I want to organize it before I go and buy a whole bunch more organization I feel like organization is expensive to begin with so you just you need to kind of pick and choose where you want to spend the money right now and I promise I love you much better now the sour taste will wash away because I promise you promise I'm better now
I busted my broom out and you can see I'm going to get really close here in a second. It is really dirty and muddy back by this back door. My kids were letting the dogs out back here. We actually switched them to the front because we did not have sod at this time. So it was just really disgusting and muddy back here. You can see all of the gunk on the back by the back door. If I'm gone back now, all my weakness keep on Since we moved, my vacuum has actually been not doing that well. It's not picking up everything it used to. I don't know what's going on with it. I tried cleaning it. I tried detangling the brush. I've tried all the things that I could think of to fix this vacuum, but it's just like sitting in the barrel, and as soon as I turn off, everything just falls right back out on the floor. It was kind of agitating me. I don't know. My husband's going to look at it when we get back. Hopefully, we can fix it because I really did love this vacuum. Hey, hey. I swear I never thought it would matter If I'm gone by now All my weakness keep on linger, linger on On repeat like it will be my favorite song Oh, I know I should be moving, moving on But you got me good, you got me good I keep on trying to defend Still it feels like a pretend Keep on driving and driving along the road to never end As my head will fill my spark between the jars and bottle jug Just me and all the red lights Keep on driving and driving I could not find my O-Cedar spin mop. This is the only mop I could find at the time. We had to dig through the garage to find it in a box. Thankfully, it was on the outer side of all the other boxes, so I was able to get to this one. And I'm just going to use Mr. Clean and kind of just clean the floors really quick with it. I still have yet to find my O-Cedar spin mop. Like, I have the bucket and the mop heads. I just cannot find the mop itself. So we're using this one today and just tackling the floors really quick before my parents show up because it is almost probably like almost midnight in this video when I was finishing up and I will tell you what I was exhausted. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and got all the cleaning motivation and either cleaned along with me or just sat back and got some cleaning motivation for yourself and ideas for your home. I appreciate you guys again so much and I hope you will hit that subscribe button as well as that alert bell and if you are not following me over on Instagram and TikTok I suggest doing that because I do update you the most on Instagram for sure and TikTok I just like to do fun little videos and that's where I do most of my workout motivation as well but again I will see you guys back next time and I am just so happy that you're here